Hello, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to a new. I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Welcome or welcome back to a new vloggy vlog. If you are new here, excuse my appearance. I feel like I usually look better than this, but my hair is pulled back today because it's raining outside and I had to run errands. But if you're new here, my name is Nyla. Come join the family. You're going to love it here because everybody loves it here and us on Perry. So if you like lifestyle content, you like some beauty content, you like some fashion. I get fashion here and there, but it's really lifestyle, beauty, vibes, everything, nigh. So yeah, if you like all that kind of stuff and you want to get to know me a little more, hit the subscribe button. So yeah, welcome or welcome back to a new vloggy vlog. So Ramadan is over as of tomorrow. So tonight or today is the last day of Ramadan and then tomorrow is Eid. So Today is the last day of fasting, which means I had to go to the grocery store and stock up because I don't really have food for real in my um, refrigerator because a lot of my food that I've been eating when it's time to break my fast has been leftovers if I've gone out to eat. I've made breakfast for dinner when I'm lazy. There were a few times where I actually did like meal prep on like a Sunday and so I did have some leftover food doing that. And then spaghetti and meatballs is a real easy meal so I made that a few times. But yeah, other than that, like I don't really have like meats or anything in my freezer. I needed to stock up on some breakfast items, meats, breads, get some stuff for my coffee, get yogurt, get fruit, get a few vegetables. I got basically frozen vegetables. When I want fresh produce, I'm just gonna go back to the store and get it. If I end up needing fresh produce, I'll just go back to the store and get it because I don't wanna buy it and then it sits in my refrigerator and go to waste. I've done it before. So I was like, let's not do that this time. Let's get certain vegetables like frozen just so you can have them. But when you want fresh produce for a certain like meal, just go get it. We are going to do a little haul. I low key feel like I, one, I spent a lot of money because I had to restock the fridge and the freezer. But two, I feel like I haven't done this big of like a grocery haul low key since I moved into this apartment, which sounds kind of nuts. Let's get to it because we got a lot of things. I went to three different stores because I was on a mission. I just did not take y'all with me, so sorry. But I went to um, Trader Joe's first. That is personally where I like to get my meats because I feel like they have really good quality meat, but it's affordable. So that is where I got my meats, mostly. Then I went to the Fresh Market because there were certain things that I wanted to get from there that they don't have at Trader Joe's. And a lot of the stuff that they sell there is like made with cleaner ingredients. So I got some stuff from the Fresh Market and then the last place I went was Publix to get the other things that they didn't have at Trader Joe's or the Fresh Market. So let's do a little haul. We got some Kodiak cake protein waffles. I believe I got two of these. Where is the other one? Yeah, I got two of them. Good source of protein. When did they start adding soy in this? That is so annoying. I'm still gonna eat it because I bought it, but the next time I go to Whole Foods, because Whole Foods sells their own brand of protein waffles, they're really good. I don't believe those have soy in them, so yeah. Got some corn on the cob, got some um, seasoned waffle fries from Alexia. This is like my favorite brand of fries to get. Got some chicken sausage, mild shredded cheddar cheese because I found a bacon ranch pasta salad recipe that I wanna try. I got some of these just bare lightly breaded chicken breast spicy bites. I got this because Sharabia, and I feel like I forgot who else was talking about this, but they said that the Noosa Finest Yogurt, I believe this is like Australian, yogurt or something but they said that this brand is like really really good so i wanted to try it i already like yogurt i still got the regular yogurt that i eat but i was like let's try this and see how i like it this is the normal yogurt that i used to that i typically eat this is the dan and light and fit greek vanilla yogurt i got some dave's killer bagels because i haven't had well i have had a bagel from an actual bagel place but 
I haven't bought Dave's Killer Bagels in a while. I got some more um, baking chocolate because on Thursday we're doing pour it out night at Crystal's. It's our Eid pour it out night. So I'm gonna make arroz con gandules for that. But for a dessert, I'm re-upping and making another batch of chocolate chip cookies. They're just too good and they're so easy to make. So yeah, I got the Hidden Valley Ranch packets. This is going to be for the um, pasta salad. I got this Kinder's, the blend, it's salt, pepper, and garlic. I got this because the recipe that I'm making calls for garlic pepper, which I've never heard of before, but it's literally a blend of garlic and pepper. And I couldn't find that, so I was like, I feel like this should suffice to use just like a little bit of this, or I guess technically I could have just mixed garlic powder and pepper, huh? Tomatoes because I I need this for the uh, pasta salad. I got some oatmeal. I thought all oatmeal was gluten free, but I looked at the ingredients of this versus the regular Quaker oats, just like original oatmeal. And this literally is only one ingredient and that is like three or four. So I got this. Got some whipped cream for my white hot chocolate for whenever I decide I want to have that. This is the pasta that I'm gonna use for the pasta salad, it's tri-colored pasta. This, I got two cans of the of these um, sliced black olives. This is also for the, um, this goes in the pantry. This is also for the pasta salad. I didn't know Tillamook made cream cheese. I've had their ice cream. If you have never had their ice cream before, please go try it. It's so good. It tastes real like fresh, like it's really, really good. They also make cheese and their cheeses are also really good, but I didn't know that they made cream cheese. And so I got some cream cheese for my bagel. Um, I was gonna say, I think that's everything from from Publix, but it's not. The last things that I got were some gloves for when I clean, especially because I typically have nails on. I just be playing around. So I said, let's get some, some gloves. Got some more Lysol spray because I'm running out. Ran out of my scrubbing bubbles. So I was like, let's get some spray for the bathroom. And then I'm running out of my toilet bowl cleaner. So I went ahead and picked some of that up as well while i was already there i was gonna go get it from target but i was like it's fine we'll just um get it while i'm here um okay i got these alexia house cut fries these are the other ones that i like told y'all i got some frozen vegetables so i got some broccoli i got these organic grass-fed beef meatballs and i'm really excited to try them one of the very few that I can find aside from making them myself, which I'm too lazy to do. One of the few ones that I have found that don't have soy in them. I got some Chobani coffee creamer cause they sold it there. They also sold my stock coffee there, which I'm finna show y'all in a second. I got some Jenny's ice cream while I was there. I was like, you can just buy this at Publix since you're gonna go to Publix. I'm glad that I decided not to do that because they were sold out of this specific flavor at Publix per usual. I got some beef bacon because I really want to try it and see how it tastes. I'm already a, a beef girl, I'm a red meat girl. So I was like, let's try it and see what it's giving. And then I got some fresh fruit while I was there. I like mandarins. And yes, y'all are gonna say this is lazy because you could buy some tangerines or mandarins yourself and cut them up. I like convenience. So yeah, I got these sumo mandarins. I like mandarins and tangerines. They typically make my throat itch though, but I wanted to see if these will make my throat itch. Hopefully they don't because I really do like these. And then I just went ahead and bought a big tub of the um, pineapples that I bought the other day because I'm almost done with that smaller container that was about this size. So I was like, let's just go ahead and let's just go buy the big tub since you keep eating it. Got some eggs. I still have some eggs, but now that I can eat breakfast again at my personal appropriate time, I know I'm gonna be eating eggs a lot. So I was like, let me just, let me get some eggs. I told y'all they have the stock coffee there, which I'm really, oop, 
which I'm really happy about. So we got that. I got some cans of Olipop. I got four of the classic root beer and four of the cola flavor. The last things that I got from the fresh market, I got some fresh um, ciabatta rolls. I got boom chicken pop. I got two of the made good granola bars. Did not know they sold these there when I was at Publix. They actually had them there too. I used to only get these at Target, but they sell them in Publix now. They got them at Fresh Market, so that makes me really happy. I got some organic pancake syrup because I needed some for if I make pancakes, for waffles, for if I make French toast. I got this because I thought it was really cool. The Real Cereal Company, it's organic rice crisp, so it's supposed to be essentially rice crispy treats. And there's literally only one ingredient, organic brown rice. So excited to try this. Then I got two jars of tomato and basil pasta sauce onto Trader Joe's. We got some Tuscan pain bread. I got some milk, two things of jasmine rice, hash browns. I got some butter. I got some more honey because I've been using this for my tea. So I was like, let me get some more honey. Onions are always a good thing to have in your fridge. So I got some onions. I got some gala apples because I love Trader Joe's. Apples. Got some regular pork bacon. Salmon. Lean ground beef. Burger meat. New York strip steak. Chicken wings. And then I just got some roses because the ones on my on my credenza they're dying With that, Ramadan 2024 is over. Just broke my fast with some water. I went and picked up some food from Fio Fio because I just had to have it. I was like, this is going to be my celebratory completing Ramadan, my last iftar meal. I didn't know they was gonna give me this many sauces. I got one empanada and then i got the quarter oh i'm saving these containers these are good containers yeah i'm saving these i got the quarter chicken dark meat with some rice and beans yeah i'm glad i got this and not the half with some rice and beans and tostones i'm so excited first of all i haven't had tostones in a very long time i haven't had fio fio in a very long time in general this was a great choice love this for me I was gonna make my HelloFresh. I changed my mind because I was gonna start cooking around like 6.45. I was like, I don't have the energy for this shit. I know I just went grocery shopping and everything. I don't have the energy for this. I just need food already prepped so I can eat because I'm hungry. I'm finna eat this and I'm finna relax. I'm finna have a glass of toast and I'm finna watch some TV. And then yeah, and we will chat <laughs> um, at some point this week. Oh,
Hey y'all, this is not the best angle because y'all are not on my little car tripod because I forgot to bring it with me, but I'm on my way to Crystal's. We are having, let me pick y'all up because I'm at a red light. We are going, uh, uh, we are having our Eid celebration today yesterday was eid but it's our poured out night today so we're having our eid celebration today so y'all saw earlier i made some chocolate chip cookies and i made some rice everybody's bringing stuff so we're gonna have a smorgasbord of things just like we did for eat tar so i will see you there Kissing me, hold the cutters, what are they like or not? I wanna show you up, I wanna show you up. I'm gonna brag about it, I wanna tie the knot. I wanna show you up, I wanna show you up, I wanna show you up. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It is 8.30, I'm actually about to head out. I'm gonna put a little jacket over this. Well, I'm about to head out. I am going to European Wax Center because I need to go get a wax. And then while I was out, I was just going to go pick up my medication, my birth control. And then I was going to go to Ulta because Alexis got me a gift card for my birthday. So 
I might go to Ulta afterwards too. So yeah, y'all are going to come with. Oh, yesterday for Eid, our Eid meal. Definitely we cook too much food. We always make too much food. I did bring some leftovers home, but then I also bought groceries. So that's why I didn't want to bring a shit ton of stuff home. Also, I'm not going to be here on the weekend. Um, I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow and I'll probably stay till like Monday. So and they're gonna have food there so i didn't want to bring too much stuff so i brought enough so i could have for dinner today so i don't really have to cook and yeah but it was fun we had a great time great sister time per usual <sighs> so yeah next one is cinco de mayo themed or at least it's supposed to be should sharabia not have amnesia is she actually remembers that she is hosting this one and that that is the theme that we have decided but yeah we had a great time it was fun so yeah let's head out and go do what we gotta do for the day Hey y'all, we are back from Ulta. I actually went to two different Ultas because I was looking for something in particular and the first one did not have what I was looking for. The second one technically didn't either. Well, there were two things I was looking for. Well, I guess three. So the first one I went to is by where I used to live and they don't carry Pat McGrath there. And then also I was looking for the Belief um, Aqua Bomb and I did not see it in the store there. So that was that. And then for NARS, I was seeing, I was looking for their foundations and they had them. They just don't have my shades and my shades are also sold out online. So then I went to another um, Ulta that is closer to where I live now. And they do sell Pat McGrath there. I almost bought her foundation, but I decided to put it back because I was like, mm, I'm not really sure. Like I liked it and I found my shade, but I was like, mm, we'll put it back for now. Because what I actually really want is to restock my NARS foundation. So I think I'm just gonna do that later. But while I was at Ulta, I did find the Belief uh, True Cream Aqua Bomb. I used to use this a long time ago. Like this was my holy grail before I started using that Crave Beauty Moisturizer. Ever since I started using that one, that is just what I always uh, use now. But this is what I used to use for like years. And then, yeah, when I got the stuff from Crave, um, I stopped using it. But it's more like a a gel consistency but like it's not super thick but it's like thick yeah i always loved the way that this smelled i wanted to try it i have been using i didn't use it today but the past few days i had been using the skin 1004 centella soothing cream which the texture of it reminds me of the aqua bomb but i think the aqua bomb is better and so i think i'm gonna be returning that cream i'm probably still going to be purchasing to be honest the cream from crave beauty because i still really like it i just think i'm gonna alternate between the aqua bomb and the crave beauty moisturizer i think i'm also gonna return the skin 1004 what are they sunscreens i they don't break me out but i don't like the way they like blend and sit on my face like initially when i blended it into my hand i liked it but i don't like how it blends into my face and i also think it takes longer to like blend it in versus the crave beauty one we're just not gonna look for sunscreen no more. Like the Crave Beauty one is it, that is my favorite one. So I think I'm gonna send those back. I am really liking the um, Skin 1004 Centella Ampule. I really do like that. And then I haven't tried the Anuwa toner yet, so I can't speak to that. I try not to try too many things at once so I can see how something is uh, possibly affecting my skin. That will be next to try, but yeah. The other things that I got from Ulta, 
I got these two volumizing gloss sticks from Juvia's place. I got one in True Nude and then the other in Rich Honey. I felt like I swatched them on my hands. Um, she has a lot of pretty um, shades, but yeah, I thought that these were like really cute and it's also like simple for a gloss. It's like a lip balm. It's like a lip balm, but it's a lip gloss. It's what it looks like. So yeah, I got two of those. And then the last two things I got, instead of getting makeup, I love makeup brushes. I also haven't bought brushes in a while. I love my Sephora collection brushes. I think they're just so like well made. I just think they're very well made. Um, but I feel like you can never have too many brushes, especially like if you've been using brushes and you haven't cleaned them yet. I feel like it's just always good to have extra. So I got these these two brush set, uh, brush sets from Morphe. It was their collaboration with Ariel which he is a celebrity makeup artist. He's done Kim Kardashian's makeup, Kylie Jenner's makeup, and other celebrities, but he collaborated with them for a brush set, and so I got them. One, I was really, I was debating on the face one, but I decided to get it anyways, but the Signature Eyes one, I was going to get regardless. I also love the packaging, it's very pretty. I don't have a whole bunch of eyeshadow br brushes, now granted, I don't be doing my eyeshadow often because y'all know how I am when it comes to um, eyeshadow. I'm a little lazy and I just typically do bronzer in the crease. But I told myself, not that I'm gonna do like cut creases and stuff like that, but I kind of want to do some eyeshadow looks again and maybe not just always do bronzer in my crease. And then there's also a specific brush in here that I really, really wanted. And it's the, it's the dual ended concealer brush because I feel like this is a better brush to clean up under my brows with concealer than what I typically use. Oh yeah, the packaging of this is really, really nice. That's what it looks like. This set was like 40 something and then the face one was 60 something, which I don't feel is bad. But this is what the inside of it looks like. Very nice. So we have a cream shadow blood uh, brush, right? Then we have a fluffy blending brush, a crease blending brush, one to pack on foundation, I mean, eyeshadow. Uh, this one is a pencil defining brush. It's probably good to like smoke out and do like a liner with the eyeshadow. This one is a smudging brush, this one a defining brush, and then this is the dual ended concealer brush. I know some people really like a flat top brush to clean up under, up under their brows. And then some people like this kind of brush to clean up under their brows. This is like a really nice, um, low key I kind of want to leave them in the box. This is a really nice um, brush set. And this is the signature face set. And it comes with a setting and bronzing brush, a foundation brush, a cream contour brush, which I really wanted to try this one because I have a brush that I use for like contour um, and bronzing, but this is not as dense. So I feel like it might help it diffuse out better. Um, it also comes with a blush brush and then a precision setting brush. This is what this looks like. They're like so like soft. This is what she looks like. So this is the setting and bronzing brush. This is the foundation brush. I believe this is the cream contour brush. This one is the blush brush. And then this one is the precision setting brush. They feel so soft. The quality of your brushes really does make or break the application of your makeup. So please invest into some nice brushes. Like I said, these feel really soft. I haven't used them yet, but they feel very soft. They look very high quality. Morphe typically makes like good quality brushes anyways. So give them a try. I highly recommend 
it costs a little bit more, but I highly recommend you also check out the brushes from the Sephora Pro Collection. They are a little pricey per brush, but I promise you like they are really, really good quality. But yeah, I also picked up my birth control while I was out. I think my period's starting today because I felt cramps while I was in the car. And I was like, I don't think my period is supposed to come today. And then when I came home, I noticed a little bit of blood. I was like, let's put on a pad. I took my pill this morning, but I start my new pack on Saturdays. So I got to change the label. And sometimes I get cramps though before my period actually comes. My period has just been kind of weird though the past two months. Like it hasn't been like a real period for real. But anyways, let me go make something to eat because a bitch is hungry. So yeah, bye. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I just finished making some breakfast. It's 10 o'clock. I made some oatmeal and then I made some scrambled eggs and then having some orange juice and then i'm gonna make a coffee when i'm done eating and i also have a little bit more water but yeah happy saturday after i'm done eating also i have to pack um because i'm gonna go to my parents house for like the next two days hmm. very good celebrating my dad's retirement i feel like i'm probably not gonna vlog while i'm there so I think we're actually going to end the vlog now. I have some packages that are coming, but I was like, I'll save it for, um, I'll save it for the following week's vlog. This way I can make sure that this one gets up in time, even if it's a little bit shorter. I feel like I haven't started editing it yet. I meant to start editing yesterday, but I didn't edit. So I got to do that later on today when I go to my parents' house. But I want to make sure that this gets up in time, even if the video is not as long as like I typically like my vlogs. I still feel like it'll be a good vlog and I would just rather include uh, the packages that I'm getting in the next video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Nothing too spectacular went on, really just... I had to restock my fridge, boy, because I have no food. We're kind of now like resetting after Ramadan and getting back on a normal eating schedule. Celebrate Eid with my friends, which was fun. I bought some new makeup stuff. So yeah, short, cute, sweet little vlog. But hopefully next week's vlog will be a little bit longer and a little bit more eventful but yeah love you guys all so much thank you for watching as always if you're not already part of the family come join the family you're gonna love it here because everybody loves it here and that's on period sis so <laughs> yeah love you guys all so much and i'll see you beautiful people in the next video bye y'all I was down and out, but you still have love for me, girl.